Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if Microsoft Excel is stuck trying to recover your information. So I might say that Microsoft Excel is trying to recover your information. This may take several minutes. So if you're coming across this problem, let's just assume for a moment that you're unable to open up the Excel application. So we're going to go about a back way method of opening up the program to begin with and that would entail opening up the start menu first typing in run best match should come back with run go ahead and left click on that okay so into the open field type in excel dot exe and then a space forward slash safe so again excel dot exe and then a space forward slash safe select ok Okay, so now that we're in here, select the File tab. Select Options at the bottom of the drop-down list. Select the Add-ins section on the left side. Where it says Manage, click inside the drop-down. Select Excel Add-ins, and then select the Go button. If any of these are checkmarked in here, you want to uncheck them, and then select OK. Another thing I would suggest doing would be to temporarily disable your antivirus, see if that is picking up on an issue with your Excel file. It could be interfering with the Excel process to begin with. Also, make sure your Excel file is coming from a secure source because there could be embedded malicious software or links within your Excel workbook that if you're downloading from a third party external source could be the cause of the issue and it might be detecting and quarantining your Excel file and preventing it from working properly. So that's another option to keep in mind. So another thing you can try if we just close out of here and we actually do try and open up the normal Excel. So now we're kind of moving on to the next part of this tutorial here and let's say now you can select options. Select the trust center. The reason why we had to go out of the safe mode Excel version was because this would be grayed out in the safe version of Excel, so the safe mode, safe boot option. So now that we're back in the normal Excel, you want to select Trust Center, and then where it says Trust Center Settings, go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to go ahead and select Macro Settings, and select Disable All Macros, now you want to disable all macros without notification and then also go to trusted documents uncheck the box where it says allow documents on a network to be trusted and check mark where it says disabled trusted documents and then go ahead and select OK OK again and that should hopefully be about it so as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.